and it looks like we are live so just give me a moment while i post a couple linky links and we should be good to go just uno momento por favor all right let's make sure the stream's up looks like it's up make sure the audio's working let's make sure the stream's up yep audio's working good to know good to know let's take this bad boy uh give me uno momento one second All right, all that's done. So let's play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 some years later. That was close, too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? <clears throat> Come on, John. Please try. I what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. What's up Which there, Mr. B. Page? Books was that? You know that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my Glad somebody's watching this stream. I tried to talk Jade into uh ah oh, crap, my head's all itchy. I tried to talk Jade into uh joining me for the John Marston parts when I play them. She said, "I don't want to watch John Marston." I know these parts aren't as fun as Arthur's, but we're still fun. Boy. Still fun. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I 
I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. <laughs> Good father. Good father. Yeah, I bought Spock, Scott Pilgrim a while ago to play with my friend for my YouTube channel, but uh, yeah, we never got around to playing it, so. If we could get freaking, if we get Jade to join us, that'd be kind of fun. Nice little beat-em-up game. Also, what's up, Arctic? It's strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been I like strawberry. Time. Kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Good. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Uh, yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? Right it's outside. just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. My boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Well, that was easy. Well, look at that. Go to the doctor's office. Good, honest work. Good, good, honest work. You know what? The best part about this trip to Strawberry is I'm not shooting up the whole goddamn town. Here we go. All right. What? Uh, doctor's office. Got a fever. Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Oh, well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. <laughs> what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just me. Just me. <coughs> but they load that shit up real fast. And slow, slow and steady wins the rice. Here we go. God, I love this game. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Just a ride through the country. So 
What do you think of strawberry, guys? Did you have fun with strawberry the first time we all visited? Had to bust the old, good old Micah Bell out. Town, or I guess to the to the freaking ranch. What do my honor is? Can I check my honor? How do you check your honor in this game? I guess it's like player, maybe. John. John Marston. So honor is interesting. So he's neutral right now. Good. Neutral. Uh no, they didn't show my honor at all. Oh there it is. Never mind, it did. Quick tap. Got eleven dollars in my name. All right, here we go. There we go, North. Place a little bit further than I expected. Hi, Jake. What's up, man? How you doing? You doing good? Doing Gucci, bro? When are you going to finally beat this game? Everybody needs to beat this game, man. Everybody. You're working. Working on what? I think I'm almost at the ranch. This must be it. Yeah, I'm rebeating the story. This is my second playthrough. You missed Dog us in. No, sir. Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife... We was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy. Five cats and two dogs. Holy crap, that's a lot of cats. And dogs. Well, not a lot of dogs, just a lot of cats. We're all one. <clears throat> Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> no. That ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? 
It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. Stealing my fucking <laughs> wagon. <laughs> That was easy. All right, come on, buddy. Good horsey, horsey. There we go. That was a lot easier than I remember. Way easier than I remember. Four-year-old Labrador, huh? That's nice. Sadly, uh, one of my family's pets, or pets, uh, one of my family's dogs passed away the other day. So five, well, she, I think she's like six. Six-year-old Doberman Pinscher. They let her outside, and like a couple minutes later, she just started squealing out in distress, and uh, she passed away, sadly. So I think it was heart failure. She was a good dog, too. It really sucks. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, I'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. Good call, a, good call. a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Well, look at that, it got me a job. Epilogue part one, Pronghorn Ranch. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work <laughs> extra hard. <laughs> Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? <laughs> hard. John hey. Jim. Hey, get over here. 
Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Nice guy. Nice, nice guy. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Hells yeah, I did. Can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, I hear that too. Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? I didn't use a gun. I just ran down. Of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Yeah, come lend a hand, Jack. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. As we'll learn. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Damn straight. Where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. Gunslinger. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Let's go milk them. Milk them, Mr. Milton. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach your calm now. Nice Don't and calm. Don't take too kindly to surprises. Okay. That gal likes you. Almost got a pail full. Dead gum. Cool. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got our. It's a lot of milk. Holy shit! Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on. Hopefully, have some shit. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. 
Ain't that grand. Oh, he's 12. Holy he's crap. Fine name. I like it. I got I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant <laughs> work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said, I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mhm. Mm nice. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Whew. Look out. Time to clean some poop. from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's over here. Hold on a moment. Look at this horse shit. Somebody's got to do it. Last pile of dungy dung. Think your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at us? Turn the pitchfork. Got even it. Your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up. I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. <laughs> I didn't realize that John picked that name for him. That's pretty interesting. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same <laughs> as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. <laughs> I guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Oh, hmm. that's so sweet. <laughs> Put some coffee on. Good stuff. No, oh, three dollars. And I got a gold freaking medal. Hells to the air. Okay. Uh, we'll just do this guy's mission again, I guess. Unless he's... Oh, this one's closer. I'll do this one then. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Take your time. Take your hey, time, Arctic. Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Okay. Abe, sir, you and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. 
And since you showed up, Runaway Horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. <laughs> I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Gettys goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. You'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Okay. <laughs> you Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Come on. Easy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Good horse. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the crowd. Gotta calm him down. You're a good boy. Just a couple more pats. It's all right, ain't it? Oof. Shit. That was an accident. There you are. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? <laughs> Ram two walls, you can behave now. Yeah. I bet he's going to behave now. Nice and slow. Says old Jim Milton. Stay calm. Me? A horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thanks, nice. son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. <laughs> and he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. All right, we'll see what happens. Do it. Nice and easy. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. 
I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Nice. Oh, welcome back, Arctic. Welcome back. So if I remember correctly, I think this chick starts hitting on me. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Shut this door. Close that. And close. There we go. All right, sorry about that. I'm back now. All right, let's do this. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> okay, now it. hold on. Get a hold of it again. You'll know them when you got them. Apple! <laughs> hold! It's happening! <laughs> okay, that was fast. Well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. <laughs> oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. The forbidden we, fruit. We have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Milton. Trying to go a little son, son, huh? All right, let's see. Okay. Let's go see the missus. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? <clears throat> been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. 
Right on the town. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Let's do it. So I heard there's some news of a remake of Red Dead Redemption 1, which would be pretty cool. Hopefully they update the story and make it a lot more serious like this Brand game. Left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Oh, I got a thoroughbred. That's a pretty good horse, actually. How you doing? Let's see. Thoroughbred, 50% total progress. Thoroughbreds are racehorses, identifiable by their lean legs, and athletic build, and deep chest. The Blood Bay and Dapple Gray are found in the wild, while Brindle Coat is purchasable. Cool. Cool, man. Well, that's something. Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> We're home already. You're. Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream? Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. There we go. Good job, Jack Marston. Now let's go. This. Jack, a little kick and a... Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Nice. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Should be good. Should be good. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun to play the game in VR. Straight up. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. The strain. Nice. You're good, girl. Get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! We're doing it, boy! You gotta let Jack win this one, man. Give us a confidence. Yeehaw! It feels like I'm flying. <laughs> I'm 
right behind you. You know how old my horse is. I'm winning. Don't get cocky, boy. Son. I beat you. <laughs> like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Cocky as fuck. I'm almost at the park where I start shooting people because I want to shoot people now. Put the coffee on. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Good stiff. Three more dollars. Oh. Uh, my least favorite chapter in this game is probably the first chapter, followed by the epilogue. The epilogue's kind of boring. Until the end of the epilogue. That's when the epilogue gets good. It's like right at the end. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. <laughs> Give me a hand with this fence. Let's do it. Let's build a fence. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. That's it. Good stuff. Fine. That's all, let's do it. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Good stuff, man. It's gonna be building a freaking fence. Oh. 
Over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Uh-oh. Come on, son. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. This is Milton. Easy, bull. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet okay. you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, shit. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Here, bully, 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 bully. Come on. I'll be quick. Come on, finish. Bad ball. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. You got a timber on you. Whoa. so bad nice and easy now boy there 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 he's up all better okay <laughs> now come on you hunk of chuck stubborn ain't you <laughs> let's go got him got mr him. dickens oh good heck yeah how you doing son a bit sore but i'll be okay thank you mr milton my pleasure and you, mister? Fine. You just got my head. <laughs> Good. Just got your head, yes. okay. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. All right, look at that. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, get him, oh, get him. I'll oh, kick his head in, Bob. Yeah. It's like that, huh? Yeti spins on women. He saves on hands. Brains out. <laughs> they didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Teach that boy a lesson. Smell like cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Oh, oh, you need help? Yeah. Jim, Jim, get off that man. Get off. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. Hey, he didn't hit me once. I dodged that shit. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. 
We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. They would have shot him, man. Uh, okay, I think now we're about to do the gun part. The gun part's the fun part. That's why gun rhymes with fun. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. <coughs> I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. Uh, Trevor Phillips' ancestry is played by the same actor. His name is Stephen Ogg, by the way. Stephen Ogg. I know. <clears throat> Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Yep, this is it. Good night, Pa. This is it. What was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you've got to do something. Two of them by the stalls. They got Tom. It's over. It's rich man's folly. You boys are over. Who's this? New hand. Oh, you're that tough guy they just took on. And I heard about you. Crap. You all ain't gonna be trouble. You gonna be a lesson for the ranchers. I lost my wind. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen oh, my God. goddamn cattle. You okay. Been okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. Woo! What was Good it? part. Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Yes. Got Arthur's hat and everything. I'll lead the way. Okay, what'd they give me? Gave me my Lancaster repeater. Okay. And I'll use the Lancaster. Oh, repeating shotgun. Will work. That works. Got my Schofield revolver. And John's Cattleman revolver. Okay, you know what? That works for me. 
This is gonna be the last we hear out of him. Ooh, we about to go kill this motherfucker. Hopefully he just takes me there. That'd be very helpful. Just do it! Do it! these guys off your horses here we'll be better on foot okay if you say so hitch my horse that's what are you doing what you can tell the lights are on out of here
I am so sorry about that. Sorry, I had to go clean up after my dog. She didn't make a mess, but she just, uh, there's like a lot of hair and stuff like that. So I had to go vacuum and go scrub up, or not scrub, but like go vacuum and like dust. So anyways, I'm back now. Let's go kill some good old freaking outlaw bandit people to stuff. But anyways, welcome back, Danny. How are you? The place up ahead. I haven't seen that name in a long there's time. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more on the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Doing good. Hey, doing good. You're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh. been coming up to pronghorn I thought I'd come down here you're all so tough Dude, it's freaking, it's freaking American Venom. Holy crap, I didn't realize. Hey, buddy. Boom, motherfucker. That's what I thought. Boom, boom. Are there any other bullets? Ah, uh, nothing. Dude. This song is fucking amazing. I love it. Holy shit. You gonna try me, buddy? Oh! Hate to see it happen, bud. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking awesome. Can't loot him, though. Can't loot him, though. I'm gonna lose some honor. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pump action. Yeah. I got this. You boys take care. Well, you know, pump action's not that bad. You know what? Screw it. Oh wait. Give me a Lancaster back. Thank you. That was awesome. Can I loot these? Will it, will it get mad at me if I loot them? Let's see what happens. They were bandits. Honor gone. Honor not gone. Well, I'm gonna loot then. Screw it. It's looting season, boys. Dude, I didn't realize they were playing American Venom at that point in the game. That's pretty freaking awesome. Hey Candy, how's it going? Long time no see. Haven't seen you in a really long time. Let's do some dead bodies. What have you been up to lately, Candy?
Alright. I guess we'll just go take care of this now. Take care of it. Take care of it. It's going great. My dog died three weeks ago, so I just needed some time. How are you? That's sad. My dad's dog actually suddenly passed away about three days ago. He let, he let her outside, and I guess like a few minutes later, she just started crying out in distress. And when he ran out to check on her, she passed away like a few seconds later. I think it was like heart failure or something. Get you. Oh gosh. Boom! You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her. Farmhand! I think he's dead? Okay, uh, get my hat. Yeah, the whole thing about my dad's dog kind of sucks because she's only like six years old, so it's pretty sad. Pretty interesting. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. I think last time I saw it was when I was playing uh, Final Fantasy VII, I think it was. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened with your dog? If you feel comfortable talking about that is. I took my dog to the dog park uh, like two, two and a half years ago. You know, I just kind of just ran around with her, and some dude's dog just ran all the way across the dog park and just started attacking my dog. And the thing that pissed me off about it was like the guy didn't even say sorry. He was like, oh. And he just kind of like pulled his dog off and just like, whatever. It's like, your dog just fucking attacked my dog, dude. It's like, get the fuck out of here. That weren't nothing. Well, you. Oh, you. <laughs> You saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes.
What? <coughs> what? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? There's another time I was walking my dog uh, around where I live right now. And I was going to like a trail and I walked down the trail and there's just these two little dogs just running around near where the road is at. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So like I kept watching these dogs and this person like, oh, no, the owner. And he kept calling the owner. And after like 20 minutes of just watching these dogs, making sure they're not going to run into the street because they wouldn't let me pick them up. They wouldn't let me touch them. They kept running away. Lady just waltzes outside of her house, lets the dogs in. And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I'll just make sure your dogs get hit by a car. She just, like, glared at me and just walked back inside. I was like, fuck you, you fucking woman. I just watched your dogs and made sure they didn't run into a fucking busy-ass street. People are fucking shitty, man. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I think my my lady's gone. But yeah, the whole the whole thing like I watched her dogs for like twenty minutes, and she just like walked outside, didn't even say thank you, didn't even acknowledge the fact that I just was literally spent twenty minutes of my fucking walk. I was supposed to be walking my dog, making sure her dogs didn't you know die, or get by a car, or run off where she couldn't find them. She walked outside, lets them in, glares at me, walks back inside. It's just like really. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee the only thing I know how to do is well you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. Mm. Doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. You take care now. Of course. Sweet. 
It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I'm being rattled around, Pa. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Your Ma was wrong about that. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Well, there we go. I like this. I don't have to freaking drive anymore. <laughs> Thanks for the little hearts. I appreciate that. This is such a good game. Such a good game. Great story. That's enough. For now. That game's strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, <laughs> I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Inoperable. Okay, cool. Retry checkpoint. I literally hit the button to freaking stop it. Strawberry, hey kid. So it's Looks like this button. You know, I think this That's what I hit. I've seen you, without a book in your hand. you got the kid. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Let's do this. Also, don't forget that like uh, hit that like button for me, guys, if you don't mind. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name M my name uh, Jim Milton Jim Milton hmm. <laughs> nope nothing here uh, maybe try Marston John Marston it's a long story okay John Marston Marston uh -oh. nope nothing here for that name either Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Oh. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. Hmm. 
I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Sweet. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. Everything okay, Pop? The dude in the back looked, sure. uh... I hope so, at least. Like he knows who I am. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I think for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But. I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jeez. Hi, Titan. How are you? I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Playing a little Red Dead Redemption 2. Who's that guy? Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Oh, he's watching me very intently. Sure. Very intently. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hey, I don't like how that guy's yeah. mugging me. Give him a switch. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no, keep driving. Oh, they're gonna come for me, aren't they? Master, please. Ah. Oh God, that's not good. What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. Let's speed this up. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. God, they're following me. Oh gosh. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on. Quick, down. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marshall? Do you sure look like him? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs>
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Oh, shit. Come on. Get out. Easy now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Hold it together for me, boy. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Oh, don't hyperventilate, boy. We'll be good. We'll be good. <laughs> CJ, what grade are you in, by the way? We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher, boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. There we go. Good old Jack. Stay nice and calm, boy. Okay, here we are. That was in uh eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. How is the Ooh, he's not happy. What happened? Yeah, it's, I don't, we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then we... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It wasn't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Oof. Oof. CJ and his famous BRB. He always Mr. does Jim? that. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Uh oh. Okay. Thanks, Abe. This is not good. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Their most days. Stop. Woo! Sadie Adler. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned.
Abigail. Uh oh. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. John, you done fucked up, bro. Well, look at that. Oh my god, I know what this is. Iconic. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting, unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Turn to work. What do you want, CJ? What? It's just a question. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Let's see. Pick a post. Where's the fucking post? There it is. Got it. few months later. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. 
Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. <laughs> Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right. He will get him for me. He'll get him for me. What do you want, CJ? Why would I ban you? There's no reason to ban you. All right, I'm back. Right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife, my wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. <coughs> the thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. 
Alone, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal Hi, Coco, with you? Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> nice. Gonna go get me a loan. Good. Streams back up. Good. I was like, no, please. So, let's go ahead and do a mission. Blackwater. Ansel Atherton. We'll do that one first. I'll go into debt. So were you up to uh, today, tonight, this evening? Anything interesting going on? Jam Milton coming through. Also, if you're in the stream, make sure you hit the like button real quick for me. I really do appreciate it. CJ. I graduated high school. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that cocaine used to be in like every freaking pharmacy in America for a long time. Give me a second. Here we go. There we go. I felt trust. I knew then that I must 
Let's go to her from this cruel world. Cruel, cruel world, must I go on? So why? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. Moving on. I've been living too fast. Too fast. I've been living too wrong. Too wrong, man. Well, I'm still here, but I'll be gone soon. Here we go. Oh, this is my first time in Blackboard, isn't it? I just realized that. Yeah, I know this place. I did the mission here. This would be Shave Sean. Motherhood. Apparently, I fucked that mission up when we got a bronze, because I didn't go fast enough, I guess. I'm not basically there, I think. Question, did anybody in the chat ever watch the video about Ghost Kitchens by Eddie Burbank on YouTube? It was pretty interesting, actually. The reason I'm asking because like, so like where I live, I can get the uh, the Beast Burger or Mr. Beast Burger. And I've noticed like in the last like year, year and a half, like just the quality has just gone way, way down. And I'm starting to think it's because of these ghost kitchens, man. Now I don't understand like, you know, ghost kitchen. It's a ghost kitchen thing to begin with, but I'm starting to realize like, I think, so in the video he talks about these ghost kitchens or like virtual kitchens. They have like 40 restaurants coming out of them. So they literally just list off all these restaurants that are serving the exact same items between several of them. But they have like different names. And like, I guess they're putting so many names out there to ensure that they get business. But yeah, the, the quality is just going downhill, man. Also, it's like kind of like way more expensive than it should be. Like it's not a bad burger, but I don't think it's worth 16 fucking dollars for that burger. It's not that good, man. It's not that good. He's actually apparently suing him. Mr. Beast is, I mean. Partner. Hi, the partner. Sir. Gentlemen. Morning. Good morning. Just morning, be on your way. It's not a bad burger. It's just not worth $60 in my Excuse opinion. Me, All right, officer. Can I, can I help you? Okay. Welcome. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. That was hey. easy. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, <coughs> sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old <laughs> dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only <laughs> folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. 
Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Cool, cool. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Get rid of them squatters. Buenos dias, senor. Okay. This guy again, huh? All right, so Beecher's Hope. Hey, partner. Good morning, friend. He never finds Gavin. Been freaking like what, like seven years now, man? Holy crap. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Here. Skinner Brothers. You remember the past at the expense of the future. Well, okay then. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, what the hell? What? Well, that's no good. It's been killed by Indians. All right, girl. So, Battle Puppet, do you watch Mr. Beast at all? Looting. Looting and shooting. Oh, this is Skinner Brothers. Mr. Beast. Do you watch Mr. Beast? You know, the guy who always gets in trouble for doing nice things on the internet and people get mad. He's like, why does he do nice things? He should do nice things. How dare he cure blindness? How dare he cure deafness? Who's TJC? That's a new name. All right, so go and loot these guys. Well, welcome to the chat. If uh, if you're new, welcome. 
Hopefully you uh, enjoy watching me play some Red Dead. Battle Pub, what the fuck is wrong with you? You need to watch a little bit of Mr. Beast, man. I don't watch Mr. Beast religiously, but I watch occasional videos, man. You should watch it. They're actually not bad. They're pretty well done. Next thing you're going to tell me is you never watched Game of Thrones. Or Spongebob. Let's go, girl. All right, here we go. Come on, Rachel. It's my horse's name here in a minute. Horse's name is Rachel. I didn't name her myself. She looks like a Rachel, though. Who names a horse Rachel, by the way? Big friends, big friends fan, I guess John is. We were on a break. Okay, so I got to get these squatters out. Um, just give me a second. Let me go hitch my horse away from y'all guys, because you're probably going to shoot at me. Blow it. Here we go. Hitch horse. Uh, I guess TJC left, so I don't know who they were. Well, that stinks. Thought I had a new, had a new viewer. All right, let's do this. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're going to get a shotty. Get a shotgun. Be ready to go. Boom. We will take. God, why do they keep doing that? So I will take. Uh, you know what? We'll take their ping shotgun. That'll work. That'll work. I do appreciate the extra like, though. So, who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna... Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit of uh, negative honor. Oh, lightning. Holy shit. That's cool. West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank. Let's do it. Ah, it's you. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down. And hey, Ashley, how's it going? I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign. So, Ashley, when are we going to play some uh, Red Dead Online? Sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we <laughs> own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Nice. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. 
Congratulations, there you are go. now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now you can also <laughs> use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can. Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Hey, clean John up here, man. Got a scraggly ass beard now. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull <laughs> No, for real. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. <laughs> Lumbago. Slowing. Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Hiss his horse right next to me, huh? Follow me. Good old uncle. Good old uncle. He's not that bad. He's a good guy. West is the you best, baby. The monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. <laughs> Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out. Okay. That rock came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. So... All right, there we go. Anyhow, no, she's. Uh, her Do you own uh, Red Dead Redemption, Ashley? Out here. <laughs> just out of curiosity. You mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. If you're lucky, I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the top. <laughs> Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> Is he actually helping me? Oh, he's not. No. Never mind. Yep. 
Epilogue Part 2, Beatrice Hope. Nice. Nice. That's some. Guess it's time to go see Mrs. Adler. Let's give you another go, girl. Okay, so if I hold this button, let me go somewhere else. Can I just... Albert Mason, I can do that quest now. That's cool. Can I fast travel? Oh, I want to fast travel so bad. Wonderful, let me. Because I didn't unlock it before. See if I can do it out here, maybe. Slow up now. Okay, so I think it was down the deep up. Wait. Okay. Was it left? That's no, journal. Okay, I must have been right. No. Up. Let's get out of here. Hey, come here! How do I how do I camp again? I guess one is down. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet it's this. That's right. Okay, so I can't right now. That's always good. Oh, it's this one. Just place the rest of the wilderness. Gotcha. Quick! Okay, Missy. I gotta be able to fast travel, man. Come on. Gotta spread them legs. So who in the chest beat this game, by the way? Cover to cover. Who's beating it? See this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't Anyway, buying. I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Thank you, mister. Uh, thanks. Be well, friend. You're a good filly.
struck me as a happy fella. Making my life a misery day and night. All those years chasing her, well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. You know, you remind me of a fella I talked to years ago. I was slinging these pebbles then, too. Feller told me to be a good man and the wife come. Bastard ruined my life. Listen, partner, I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Then, she finally said yes. <laughs> Bad, all things considered. Hey, easy. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! <laughs> what was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? 
Well, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable to living with him. Sometimes I think the same. you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker. Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen it? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly? Thing. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Get a text message? Indeed, I did. Okay.
What now? You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Oh, nice. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Hey, buddy. Little hog tie going on here. Here we go. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. This is persecution. I don't go all day. Can you put him up here? You've got no cause. <laughs> Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. You know, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Gainful employment. Nice. Oh, that guy. Oh, Valentine, right? Valentine. 
strawberry. Hmm. I wonder if I can get a shave here. I want to shave this beard off. Say no. Love a guy. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. You're a good girl now. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Claire, I need to pass. What are you doing out here anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I uh, no, uh, I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. New York oh, yes. City. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, then? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage, and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Yeah. Oh, yes. This does look familiar. Close to town. Yep. You say we're pretty close. Pretty darn close. sort sir if for some reason you plan to spend any time in strawberry you may want to look into that gabbing mayor something is definitely off with him I'll keep that in mind thanks fella Hello. sir buddy oh partner Hello. New Yorkers Jesus think you're doing? How do you do? Let's get a bath.
Would you like help in here? Sure, why well, not? Uh, yeah. Good. Now relax. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. How's it going with you? Uh, okay? Not too bad. God, my wife is amazing. Oh gosh, you're making me blush. God, I love soaking in hot water. Oh, you don't say. You got a, uh, a real gift for this. Oh gosh, that really means a lot. I feel so skinny without my clothes on. I'm so very sorry to hear that. Does that feel good? Yep, I'm finished. You take care. Let's go, girl. Man. Listen, I know it can be confusing, but that's because you have a log in your eye. I know I have one in mine. I'd appreciate a little more room here. Hey, mister. Hello there. Hi. Many are called, but few are chosen. Blessed are the goats, for they shall be the meat of human kindness. I think. You say so. Oh, I do. I really do. Okay, Missy.
a coin for a miserable waste like me? <coughs> Don't have to be mine. Just enough to keep me breathing. Huh? Oh, please. Huh? Oh, come on. Hey, hey, no, 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 come on, Mister. I. Th uh, uh, uh. Freaking fake ass beggar. Fake ass blind man. It's like gonna steal his money. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Take a seat. survival, ain't it? The human animal is a wandering one. I go with this With you. Just leave me alone. Hey, partner. Howdy. Fine country around here. Mm -hmm. You, mister. Mister? you now you piece of shit easy there I want his skill get him
free loot. Nice. Everything. It's all mine now. All mine. Well, my shit really fucking died, didn't it? Completely fucking died. Come on, lady. <sighs> it's always zero interaction, nobody chatting, nobody fucking watching. So every person comes in, says, hey, never sticks around. Same shit, different day, boy. I did kill them Skinners, though. Easy, 